Now we study about the structure and function of brain. So in the brain we have two parts. One is the upper part, another one is the lower part. Upper part is responsible for seeing, hearing, reasoning, learning and thinking. And lower part for breathing, swell, swallowing the food, maintenance of the temperature and balance etc. So human brain as we know has a very important role in control and coordination of our body. To control the actions of our body and to make all the organs, organs to work together. That is the coordination. So everything is the work of the brain. The structure of the brain is very complex. That means very difficult to study. The various functions, the various works, the brain is doing very difficult to study in detail. So scientists study certain sections of brain by arresting functions of others to find out about the role of these specific sections. So while they are studying about the brain, what did they do? Brain is doing so many works na? and it has connection with the nerves of all parts of our body. Okay, and it has a connection with the spinal cord. Spinal cord is the central nervous system. Okay, so here what happens means, so the, they, they stop the other functions of the body and they studied about the other functions of the body. For example, they stop the functions of the body, the lower part. They stopped here. And so that they are able to study this one. If all the functions are working means it is unable to study. So like this they have studied. To know about structure and function of the brain, we often try to study our brain in three parts. Front, middle and back. Before we used to study brain has three parts, front part, middle part and back part. But it is very difficult to study like this. So that they have studied so, so afterwards only they divided into two parts of the brain as upper and lower parts the upper having roles roles means works what are the works upper brain is doing seeing hearing smelling reasoning learning thinking etc okay underline this one and this point also while the lower part what are the work it is doing swallowing maintenance of temperature balance etc okay so, the upper part of our brain is most developed as compared to the other animals of our family. Okay, underline these points. Because the upper part is more developed compared to the animals. Okay, animals also has the lower part and upper part. But for us, upper part brain is much developed. Because we can learn the things, we can reason the things and we can think and we can do things creatively humans and we can say which is wrong and which is correct and we can reason out. Reason out means to know which is wrong and which is correct and we have the ability of learning and thinking. So that is why our upper brain is more developed than the animals. So. The brain also controls involuntary actions. Involuntary actions means what? Without our knowledge, unknowingly, without giving our permission, without conscious happening, it is called as involuntary actions. For example, digestion of food and circulation of the blood and when we are walking, our two hands also will be shaking. And when the dust is coming, immediately we close our eyes. It is the involuntary actions. Okay, unknowingly we do. Immediately we respond to that one without thinking. Okay. So, the, for example, some dust is reaching our eyes. So, will we think for some time whether to close or open? No, immediately without thinking we close our eyes. So, it is the involuntary action. Okay. So, control by the, the brain also controls involuntary actions. Controlled by the spinal cord. Mostly spinal cord only controlling the involuntary actions. But it is also controlled by the spinal cord. Night time we are sleeping and mosquito bit us. And immediately what we do? We kill the mosquito. So uh, that is what involuntary action. Do we think whether to kill the mosquito or not? If you are thinking means 
it is the voluntary actions without thinking without our knowledge unknowingly happen means it is the involuntary actions as for example when you walk your hands move in a particular manner so according to your footsteps and this happens without your conscious sense about this action without our conscious without knowing we move our hands while we walk this is the involuntary action this is controlled by the spinal cord also brain this is when your spinal cord exclusively controls your actions okay so contrary to this when you are re re rehearsing a march fast that means rehearsal na so before in the august 15 january 26 republic day before that we you uh, practice the march fast as yes? rehearsal time teachers will say move your legs and the hands properly during the march fast by consciously that means by thinking and with knowingly we move hands and legs it is called as a voluntary action this voluntary action is controlled by the brain you may you move your hands and legs in a pattern intentional that means in a conscious knowingly we move our hands and legs in a march fast so it is a voluntary action this action is voluntary which is being controlled by the brain this voluntary action is controlled by the brain but voluntary actions are not controlled by the spinal cord so voluntary action is controlled by what by the brain underline thus we may say that whenever we do something consciously or what that means by knowingly by, with our knowledge by thinking when something is happening it is our brain that controls such actions for example we are studying studying is the voluntary action okay because we are thinking and we are learning something and something we are doing creatively cooking we are doing nicely it is all the voluntary actions we are thinking and doing after onion what to keep in the sabji so all these things these are certain involuntary actions there are certain involuntary actions as well that are directly controlled by our brain like the contraction of people of our eye when exposed to bright light some involuntary actions are there like uh, when something is happening to our eyes we close immediately so closing our eyes immediately without conscious without knowing this is involuntary actions but it is directly controlled by the brain not the spinal cord we we learnt na spinal cord controls the involuntary actions okay but some involuntary actions are controlled by the brain also for example uh, when we oh, close and open our eyes when the dust is going to fall in the eyes but all the voluntary actions that we do consciously knowingly by thinking controlled only by the brain not by the spinal cord all the involuntary actions are controlled by the uh, spinal cord okay so here we see now okay some examples are here uh, some that means you underline this point very important there are still several other amazing facts about our brain another fact is most of the left part of our brain controls the functions so underline this point very important that means left side is controlled by the right side brain and right side is controlled by the left side brain vice versa opposite left side brain will be controlling the uh, right side hand leg whatever we do works with the right side and right brain will be controlling the left side brain okay so these are the important point right right side brain will control the left side works not the left side brain left side hand left hand left leg left side what are the works we do and right uh, left brain will control mostly the right side works okay